Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this TFLEX CAD training course and the topic for today will be the links. Uh, a brief introduction to this topic uh, to say that uh, TFLEX document can have links to other files. Um, these TFLEX documents that uh, we can call uh, fragments, uh, pictures, databases, whatever, they can be linked to other places. Um, when we work with uh, these composite documents, we may have problems when we move files or when we copy our files to uh, another computer. It can happen a lot of things in here. So uh, this functionality uh, allow us to uh, manage uh, these mechanisms of, of the links. It's quite easy to understand this also. Uh, I, I will open one file uh, that I've called assembly. Uh, we have here two fragments, so it's, it's quite simple. And then if we go to this uh, menu, assembly, we have this function here called uh, move assembly and we have uh, three options. So the idea here it is update links and uh, to update links we click in one of the in this particular case in one of the fragments and uh, we have access to this uh, dialog box where the this fragment was defined so if I instead of saying the fragment I want for this place is the the DES1 and I would say that I want the DES2 what happens it is uh, my file now it is updated uh, with the new information uh, and we can share this uh, concept to uh, other types of uh, elements that we may have in our drawing we have also something called update assembly that uh, what we'll do, it will update all of these links, more or less uh, automatic. And uh, besides, uh, we have also uh, another uh, command that is called move assembly. And the move assembly, uh, it's used when we move a document to another location uh, in the same file system uh, or to another computer. So simply go and uh, move assembly, okay, continue. And then we can choose from uh, embedding mode or substitution. And uh, if we do the embedding mode, uh, all the linked files that we have in our uh, drawing are, are stored within this assembly file. This is very convenient because uh, you need to uh, uh, put all together uh, without missing anything. So we'd simply go and say, okay, call it uh, AAA. Um, just to the OK. Uh, we can put this on the test. Uh, select all. OK. And everything it is done. So if I try to open it now uh, or check it, so test, I have a couple of files here. So I have this AAA that has everything inside. Um, it's uh, inside the file that we've saved. Uh, the other one, the, the, su the substitution, uh, this one here, uh, uh, when we, we set this function, all the liquid files are, are gathered into one folder that we named after the file of the main document and located in the same folder. Basically, it is the same method okay we have uh, a couple of um, more uh, um, options to together the files but uh, this is the idea for working with links and to manage the information through these links um, I would say that um, this function is quite interesting to prepare information to move it to another place and uh, the idea of uh, being able to uh, update, uh, for example, in this particular example, uh, the fragments that are inserted into one file, it's also uh, very interesting. Uh, 
Um, any other example or, or explanation needed, contact us through the usual channels and we will uh, help you according to your needs.